see what's going on. So there's my first layer. I'm gonna go in and do my second layer. I do apply like mascara. I just got a comment yesterday that said I would never apply to the whole entire lash because it would be clumpy and you would be able to see it. I agree that you can see it. My lashes are spiky and they're a varied lash. So with that being said, okay, these are 12s. These are the 12 Hollywoods. I'm gonna do a couple 12s and then I'm gonna do a 16 in the middle. And this is something I'm changing up. So she had made that comment and I thought, yes, you can see it. I wear very lashes. I wear varied lashes. So we're gonna lift. I'm gonna go in and lay on that lash line. And as you guys can see, my tweezers is too dirty. So it wouldn't allow for the lash to grab on because it's stuck to my tweezers. So this is a huge mistake that's very common. And I have my cleanser here. So I'm gonna go in and clean off my tool. And I just feel like I've been in such a hurry these last couple weeks because I've been launching my YouTube channel again. See, and it laid right on. This is a 12, so it's a little shorter. And I've told you before, believe it or not, short lashes are harder to put on than a longer lash. So if you struggle, consider, consider using a longer lash. These are 12s. And I... These are too far off of the, you guys can see. I'm gonna go in and add that one to the middle. This is the 16. So I kinda wanna show you guys the difference close up. So you guys can see these are 12s, this is a 16. So I want you to like really be able to see that difference. I'm gonna do another 16 and then I'll do another 12. So it's kind of a lash map for you guys today. I'm going to do one more 16 and that took a little bit longer to put on. I had to go check to make sure everything because I'm doing an application in the lens which is a little bit more difficult. So you guys can see I got it on there and I just want to show you the difference in lengths. Okay, so I'm going to look into the lens. You guys can kind of be a judge for yourself. Those are 12s in Hollywoods. These are the 16s. The 16s are just, they would just really open up my eye. And then I'm gonna do one more 12 right here. So you guys can see, I put that 12 in the corner. Now I'm gonna go in and bond. This is the Brandy Bond method, which I will attach in the comments. Okay, and that just went in and sealed everything and lifted everything. My eyelashes grow down. Oh, I'm missing a nail. My eyelashes grow down, so it's absolutely essential for me to be using this um, because when I put the when I apply on my lash, um, my eyelashes are growing down. So when the eyelash grabs, it's down low. Okay, then when I use the eyelash curler, everything, and not only that with your guys's bond, like. If you were ever a person that wore mascara and then you went in and used a lash curler to get everything to come back up with the bond, this is like mascara, like on steroids with the bond and this lash curler because it like, it stays up for days. So crazy. It's the best hack ever. Make sure you watch that entire video because you guys will laugh and I love that video. Okay, let's do this application on the other side. So I'm gonna go in. I link everything I use down below. And I'm gonna share the lash levels with you guys so you can read through that entire post. It's a great post. Tons of people learn tons from it. It's my number one post for three months is the lash levels. So one more time. I need new bond. I need to order today. So, cause this is, this is on its last leg. So let's use a different one. Cause I'm actually kind of, I'm wondering if that's even, uh, 
<laughs> that's even going to do anything. I have a lot of work to do today. I need to look my best. And yes, this was much better. That was just like not even moving. And you know, any bond you guys get, like there's a sweet spot with bond. And like two weeks in when you're doing your bond, these are the 12s, just a reminder on the outside. And then I do 16s in the middle. This is a lash mat. So I'm gonna lift, I lay right on that lash line. And this is shorter, so it's a little harder. And I just want to tell you that if you have short lashes and you're putting them on, you're like, oh my gosh, it's not working that well. Um, that's because they're short. They're too short. Move up to the 14s, move up to the 16s, and then get a thinner lash if you're not for drama. Because I actually think I might get a thinner lash here. I think I'm wanting to get some does or something like that from Lilac Street. And then I'll do a video on those. Um... Okay, we laid it right next to there. You guys can see it on there. And now I'm gonna go in and do the 16s in the middle. And I really don't wanna have to go over to that other mirror because I wanna keep filming. Um, okay, and let's do one more 16 and then we'll do one more 12. And then I'll fuse with you guys. And I'm going to share one more thing with you before I get off today. Okay. I'm going to go into the mirror because I don't want that to be ruined. Let's go in. You guys can see there's that 12 in that corner. Okay. We got that on. That 16's a little high and a little bit farther over than I would have liked. But that's okay. They're very bold lashes, but like I said, I do have photo shoots today, so I don't know, you know. Um, sometimes when you get things over here too far too, you can run into some problems, so that's something I just want to talk to you guys about. I'm going to do the quickest little concealer application because it ha it's very relevant to the lashes. So I'm going to take this brush. I use a tiny brush for my application around my lashes because this is something that I do that matters so much when you're a lash wearer is I go in and I get that corner right there, okay? And when you're a lash wearer, you have to sit there and have a makeup routine that caters to your lashes. And so I go in right around here and I do concealer. This is a full coverage concealer. And I go in with a tiny brush around here and it just really gives the illusion of eye makeup, but I'm not wearing any eye makeup. And that's why I love do-it-yourself eyelash extensions. I also do this spot right around here because it gives the illusion of the lip makeup. I'm a very minimalist with makeup, but I wear makeup absolutely every single day. So um, a lot of you guys are here because of my concealer video videos. I've had tons of viral content around concealer. I've had people message me on Instagram and go, where the hell can I find all these videos of you? And I'm like, I know, because I'm a blogger, I'm a TikToker, I'm an Instagrammer. YouTube is my preference for my lifestyle. I, it's easier for me to sit down and do a long form and really help you guys and go deep versus these tiny videos all week long because I just I have four children so I can't I can't do that so I kind of wanted to just share with you just how much I need that tiny brush to get into those spots around my eye with lashes so I hope that helped let's do the other side together and we will wrap up I hope I covered your questions with lash removal how important it is to be using an emulsifier when you remove your lashes. I use Lashifies. I'm going to link the very popular Amazon ones that the other lash creators have recommended because I bought them too. I do still use Lashifies emulsifier. And I'm gonna go in and I just wanted to share with you guys how I apply my concealer with being a lash queen. Okay, I'm gonna go do a curtain bang. Click subscribe, you guys.